Hey guys, today we're making a delicious blueberry lemon cake. It's gonna be zingy and refreshing, just the right amount of sweetness. Let's get started. The first step is gonna to be to sift our dry ingredients. So we're starting off with one and three quarter cups of flour into a large bowl. I always like to sift it, kind of optional, but it's gonna make sure the ingredients are light and fluffy with no lumps. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder, just sift that in. Quarter teaspoon of salt, don't have to sift that in. <laughs> and the sugar I'll just dump in. Now we're gonna give it a quick whisk to distribute all the ingredients in there and make sure there's no pockets of pure sugar or pure baking soda, because nobody wants that. And by the way, baking powder is just baking soda with cream of tartar. Who knew? <laughs> That's fine, we're gonna set it aside and mix our wet ingredients together now. This recipe requires one third a cup of fresh lemon juice. So I'm gonna juice my lemons right now. You can just juice them straight into the bowl. No need to strain them because you'll strain them when you measure. I'm zesting the lemons now. You only need about a tablespoon for the batter and a couple more tablespoons for the icing. So this recipe uses three egg whites. You could use the whole egg, but when you use the yolk, it just turns the batter more yellow, which I'm not really feeling right now. Fish the yolks out with my fingers. To those three egg whites, I'm adding in half a cup of warmed whole milk. Give it a whisk to incorporate. Three quarters of a cup of totally room temperature butter. I'm gonna mix this in now, and yes, there will be lumps. Does it matter? Totally gonna be fine. Half a cup of sour cream. This is really gonna amp the moisture up and make a beautiful cake with a great crumb. Third of a cup of fresh lemon juice. And three teaspoons of vanilla. All right, we're almost done. That's so crazy fast. Transfer the dry ingredients into the bowl of a standing mixer fitted with a paddle attachment. And while it runs on slow, let's just drizzle in our wet ingredients. Don't want to overmix it, especially since we're gonna fold in our blueberries. I rinsed about a cup and a third of fresh blueberries. Drain well. Here's the deal. A lot of people put fresh fruit into cakes and it all sinks to the bottom. What we're gonna do is create a little barrier of air around that by tossing it with a tablespoon of flour. Just give it a toss. Just to lightly coat the berries. A tablespoon of fresh lemon zest. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. And then we're gonna add in our cup and a third of blueberries that we tossed in flour. Just fold that in gently to distribute those ingredients. You don't want one piece that has pure blueberries and everyone else gets stiffed. So distribute the batter evenly into your three pans. I'm using six inch pans, by the way. I'm gonna pop these into the oven at 340 for about 25 minutes or until the centers are set. To make the blueberry reduction, you're gonna simmer one cup of blueberries, a tablespoon of water, a tablespoon of sugar, and a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice for a few minutes. The blueberry reduction will simmer for a few minutes. Muddle it up with either the back of a spoon or a muddler if you have one. And then you'll have this beautiful concoction. So my reduction is done. Now it's time to strain it and let it cool before we incorporate it into our buttercream. I love the color and the smell is amazing. Just push that to the strainer. Okay, my cakes are out of the oven, and here it goes. Oh my god, please release. <laughs> oh good. While the cakes are cooling, I'm gonna start the buttercream. First step is to add in a pound of unsalted butter at room temperature into a standing mixer fitted with a paddle attachment. Quarter teaspoon of salt, and start mixing on low. We wanna cream it, but not whip a lot of air into it. All right, all whipped up, and now we're gonna add in our confectioner sugar. I'm gonna do two pounds adding in a tablespoon of lemon juice, one at a time, until I think it's good. It's totally up to you how much you wanna add. Now we're gonna take about a third of this and add in some blueberry reduction. It's gonna be a really nice color. I'm adding in a tablespoon of the reduction. Such a beautiful color, oh my gosh. I'm gonna whisk that in and see what the color and flavor is like. For my two-tone interior, I'm gonna have one piping bag halfway filled with my Blueberry buttercream, which I'm in love with. You don't want to overfill it. One piping bag filled halfway with my lemon buttercream. 
snip the tip off of each one, snip, and into a third piping bag. Now we snip the tip off one more time. I'm using a turntable to assemble my cake, but you don't have to, it's really optional. I'm piping on my double layer of raspberry and lemon buttercream. Then I'm adding in a ring of lemon buttercream at the very edge. Add a thin layer of lemon buttercream to the outside of the cake, and then use an offset spatula to smooth it out. Here I'm gonna scrape away almost all of the side buttercream so I can get a nice naked look for the cake. I really wanna see those blueberries come through, they're so pretty. I use a skewer just to make a circle, and then I use that as a guide to apply my dollops with an 846 tip, but you can use any star tip you'd like. The final step is to fill the center with frozen blueberries. Totally optional, but I love the look of the frost. So this cake is delicious. I'm not gonna eat it on camera because I wanna enjoy it, but thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.